It has been an incredibly emotional few days for the families here on the Cowessis First Nation. And tonight the community is coming together to formally honor the children and others found buried in a field near the site of the former Maryvale Residential School. Eagle Claw Bunny Tom didn't attend residential school himself, but many members of his family did. My father attended Maryville Residential School, my Cookum, my Musham, my little sister also attended Maryville Residential School. The trauma experienced by each person was felt acutely throughout the family, a legacy of pain that has lasted long after the school closed. The ones who attended residential school brought it with them throughout the rest of their life. And they're still working on it. And there's, in many cases, they're still, they're still there to this day. It's why the discovery of so many unmarked graves here is so hard. We definitely have relatives buried there. The, the, tree, the chief has already came and talked to me and, and brought up names. These are our kids. Kids we never got to bring home. You know, the graves of those children now marked by hundreds of small orange flags in the days since the burial site discoveries were announced. Community members have gathered to honor those that were lost. It's important to me to to just do something in a way too, to have something to keep me busy um, through my grief. In Regina, Prairie Crow works on another tribute. The community activist is gathering 751 backpacks, each marked with an orange handprint. She plans to display at the Saskatchewan Legislature on Canada Day. I think Canada Day this year needs to be a day of grieving, a collective day of mourning and grieving. For the people of the Cowessis First Nation, the grief will last long after July 1st, as they collectively mourn so many lives. A moment of silence will be held at 751 to honor the 751 people believed to have been buried here, a number that will be added to the 215 discovered in Kamloops, BC, and a number that will likely grow in the weeks and months to come as more searches are carried out at other school sites across the country. Robin? Heather Yerkes West near the Cowessis First Nation in Saskatchewan. There is some support for those who need it. The Indian Residential School Survivors Crisis Line is confidential and available 24 hours a day. The toll-free number is 1-866-925-4419.